Hey everyone, Joshua 14 back with another Gaming on the Surface Book 2 video. And this is going to be a tips and tricks guide for how I set up my Surface Book 2s to game. And this will work for the Surface Book 2 with the GTX 1050 or 1060 or the 965M model, performance-based model that came out in 2016. So first things first, uh, if you have a Surface Book 2, you will have this battery icon. And when you click on it, you will see the power modes. Okay, and it has a slider which has best performance, better performance, recommended, and I think there's also battery saver, but it's just three modes. So best performance, better performance, and recommended. So if you want to get the best performance, obviously you want to stay in that right slider. It will obviously ramp up your fans more and make it louder, but you're going to get, you know, obviously it's going to use the GPU power to the best uh, that it has. And the next thing I've done is I've downloaded GeForce Experience, which I'll show you. Obviously, you just go to NVIDIA.com and download uh, GeForce Experience, which will give you the option to update the latest drivers. And that will give you the latest and greatest from NVIDIA that will give you improvements in games so that make sure you're up to date. Uh, because basically the Surface driver for the Surface Book 2 for in the NVIDIA hardware uh, is not updated as often. And NVIDIA's drivers, you can always roll back if you have a problem and, and uninstall them if you need to, but I've never had any problems uh, with games not working. I just keep it updated and it works great. So when you install that, you will get what's called the NVIDIA control panel. And here is a couple of options um, that I have changed so that you're making sure that it, it uses the GTX 1050, 1060, or an N 965M. And right here you'll see in the Manage 3D settings the preferred graphics processor. And you want to make sure you, uh, you have Auto Select, High Performance NVIDIA Processor, and Integrated Graphics. So you want to make sure it's on High Performance NVIDIA Processor. And then the next option that I make sure I use is right here in power management mode, which is in these settings, and make sure it's on optimal power. Um, you can also do prefer, ma prefer maximum performance, but that's probably going to drain your battery faster. So especially if you have the 1060 model, it will drain, give you the battery drain that you're experiencing. So you want to keep it on optimal power okay and everything else I've kept on stock I let everything else work so you can actually set up some settings per program if you want but um, I said I'll just keep these settings and they're good for me okay so then it'll ask you if you want to apply yes you want to apply these keep those the way they are all right, the next thing, and that actually found those two. Um, I will put the link to this Reddit post from Casual Gamer ninety nine thirty three. Give him some props for these um, tips, and uh, that really actually helped out my gaming experience. So the next thing is how to set custom screen resolutions. Uh, this is from SurfaceTip dot com. Um, and makes it really easy. This is what I use to get 1620 by 1080 and 1504 by 1000. Um, so you've got a couple of options. You can either do what I use as the custom resolution utility, or you can, uh, which is called CRU um, from monitortest.com. And I will link this in the video description as well as um, I'm making a Reddit post. Um, and it gives you the exact how to do it using the utility. You click on add here, you add the resolution for half res um, and basically put in your horizontal and vertical pixels, click OK, OK to save changes, restart your computer and then it applies and then when you go to your custom resolution you go to system display resolution and you pick the custom resolution that you chose. 
um, which works great. You can alternatively, uh, these are from Dan Char, Charlton, which is this blog, his blog on WordPress, how to add multiple optimization red, red key for alternate three by two aspect ratio. So he adds a lot in the registry. You just have to download the registry file and get that to work. Um, which I have used in the past on Surface Pro 4 uh, and Pro 2017 models with no problems, but I've had issues for it taking in the Book 2 series, so that's why I recommend using the Custom Resolution or CRU tool. Uh, and lastly, um, this is basically not a mandatory, but if you're having problems uh, with battery drain, you might also want to unlock a power plan for your battery mode. So um, if you go right click on your battery icon, you'll see power options down here in the bottom right. You can click on that and you see how it says balanced. Well, you can change your plan settings, go to change advanced power, power settings, and it only has balanced active. You cannot change those options. So this guide will show you how to create another power plan so that you can um, basically do what's called, um, you, you're going to have to mess around with the registry. They give you a registry um, key to change to where you can make power saver or high performance. Um, and basically you're creating your own like power setting like right here. So your power mode, best performance or, or whatever. So you're actually setting, hey, what the um, maximum or minimum processor state is for the CPU so that you can actually throttle it a little bit to 95% or 90% so that you're not um, during a long gaming session so that it's not um, throttling power-wise power or thermally. So, all right, guys. Well, hopefully um, those tips answered some of your questions and um, right now I'm running at 1620 by 1080 in the resolution. Obviously, if you switch it to 3240 by 2160 on the 1060 model, everything gets smaller. So uh, I just wanted to keep it at that so it would be easier for you guys to read this video since I'm actually recording um, the screen of the 15-inch model. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do have any questions uh, on gaming on the Surface Book 2, um, I've got... I'm actually going to be returning these uh, loaners to Microsoft, but I had a lot of fun, and please check out my videos on gaming on the Surface Book 2. If you want to see performance of these devices and these settings and everything is always in the description, and I've got lots of posts on Reddit as well of um, the games that I've played. Hopefully you guys have learned something and had some fun watching the videos and the content, and I will continue to keep on gaming on Surface devices. Take care, guys. Thanks.